Hey, Ryan here and we're back again with another HID retrofit tutorial. And this time we're going to be retrofitting the Mini D2S SQ. This is just like the Mini D2S 3.0 projector, however this has a square lens which offers you a different aesthetic look if you prefer. It also still carries the bi-xenon feature, it has an optically clear lens, it uses a D2S bulb, and best of all it uses the H4 adapter so it makes install nice and easy. We're going to be retrofitting it into a 1996 Toyota 4Runner. And what makes this retrofit a little bit different is that we're using a headlight with a glass lens. So the 1996 4Runner has a lens that is fluted. However, we're going to be upgrading the headlight to a 1990 and on headlight. The headlight lens is glass, so we have to take a little bit extra care when opening up the headlight. As always, start with removing the headlights from your car and let's get started. The tools needed for this retrofit are going to be a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a drill, 10mm socket or a gear wrench, bill tie rubber sealant, JB weld, and needle nose pliers. Alright, first things first. Once you have your headlights removed from the car, you're going to remove any rubber seals, rubber grommets, bulb holders, any screws or any metal brackets that are on the headlight. We're going to be putting the headlight into the oven so we don't want any metal parts burning or melting the plastic or any bulbs exploding inside the headlight. The 4Runner headlight comes in two pieces. It has a plastic frame where the headlight housing is attached to. We need to separate these two things before we put it in the oven. On the back of the headlight frame, there's two adjusting screws, one spring and a plastic clip that holds the headlight onto the frame. Start by tightening the adjusting screw on the side where the spring is. The idea is that you want to move the headlight closer to the frame so that you're able to remove the spring. Once you have the headlight close enough to the frame, you can remove the spring with needle nose pliers. Once you have the metal spring removed, back out the adjusting screw the other way so you move the headlight away from the frame. Once you have the plastic clip removed, you can unscrew the last adjusting screw by backing it out. This should free up the headlight housing. To completely remove everything, take your needle nose pliers and remove the spring from the headlight housing side. Next, there are four metal clips that need to be removed. These metal clips hold the headlight lens together. Take a flathead screwdriver to help you remove the metal clips. The metal clips should come out fairly easily. Just remember not to pry too hard so you don't crack the glass lens. Alright, now we're ready for baking. 
Place the headlight in the center of the oven and bake for 6 minutes at 270 degrees Fahrenheit. If you can, place the headlight on a cookie sheet so that the oven rack doesn't melt lines onto the headlight. Once your 6 minutes is up, remove the headlight and now we can start removing the glass lens. Now I can't emphasize enough that you need to be extremely gentle and patient while removing the glass lens from the headlight housing. Now unlike with a plastic headlight lens, the glass lens is really brittle, especially when it's hot. So take your flathead screwdriver, find a gap, and start prying extremely gently so that you can remove the glass lens away from the headlight housing. Once you have the glass lens removed from the headlight housing, the next step is to remove the bulb reflector. Unscrew the two Phillips screws from the back of the headlight and the bulb reflector will come out from the front. Alright, now it's time to install the projector into the headlight. Here we're using the Apollo 2 square shroud. Now we installed the shroud onto the projector prior to putting the whole thing into the headlight housing. The reason why we did this was we found that it was difficult to put the shroud on while we were test fitting the projector in the headlight. Just mix up some JB weld, apply it around the shroud and install it onto the projector. Install the white silicone ring onto the back of the projector. You'll need your H4 adapter and your threaded metal ring. Place the H4 adapter on the back of the headlight housing. Next you'll need to thread the solenoid wires through the back of the housing and place the projector through the H4 adapter. Once the projector is through the H4 adapter, thread the metal ring onto the back. Tighten the metal ring until it's snug. You don't want to tighten it all the way as you still need to make some minor adjustments with the rotation of the projector. Next we're going to be installing the D2S bulb. Place the D2S bulb, spring, and the bulb holder onto the back of the projector.
Next, you can install the headlights back onto your car, fire up your HIDs, and ensure that the cutoff is level. You may need to make some minor rotational adjustments before you tighten the locking nut on the back of the projector. Remove the headlights from your car and remove the D2S bulb. Use needle nose pliers now to tighten down the locking ring on the back. Okay, now we're ready to seal the headlight up. Take a look at the sealant around the perimeter of the headlight housing. If you need more sealant around there, apply some OCI butyl rubber around the edges. Use some rubbing alcohol to wipe down the inside of the headlight to remove any dust or fingerprints. Line up the glass lens onto the headlight housing and squeeze it with your hand. Like before, place the headlight into the center of the oven and bake the headlight again for 6 minutes at 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the headlight is out of the oven, install the four metal clips back onto the headlight. Just remember to be gentle while installing these metal clips. Install the plastic frame back onto the headlight. You'll need to install the plastic clip, the metal spring, and the two adjusting screws back in in reverse order. Install any rubber seals, wipe down the headlights and install the headlights back onto your car. Fire up your HIDs and aim the headlights. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This install applies to any headlight housing that uses the H4 bulb from factory. If you liked your video give us a thumbs up, leave your questions in the comment section below. This is Ryan from Luminetic Lighting and thanks for watching.